we're going to give my uh, little finishing sluice a bit of a test here today. Um, it's got some of the, uh, the new Gold Hog uh, finishing mats in it. And uh, it seems to be set up reasonably well. I did a little test with some, uh, some tailings uh, last night to see what, uh, what it was acting like. And it seemed to work very well. Okay, so I've got my, uh, my uh, gold bearing sand here. And uh, I'm just going to trickle it in. It's dry at the moment. Just going to trickle it into my little hopper here. And uh, see how that does. Now we can see it uh, working away here. And uh, right away the gold's showing up. Right in the very top of the mat. Oh yeah. You can see the gold right settling down right underneath the mats. And uh, just like Doc said, it's pretty clean under there. Not a lot of black sand. Just, uh, just how it's advertised. All the gold. Most of it anyway. Seems to be all piled up in the top here. Top mat underneath my little auto feeder. And then uh, we go down a little more. And uh, there's a little bit in there. A small little amount right there. And uh, as we get further and further down in here, there appears to be less and less, if, if any. Okay, so I got a chance to pan down the, uh, the tailings for my second run on the washer mat. And uh, it looks like there's a few little pieces, a couple of like two, like 150, there's one little 250 mesh. A uh, couple of uh, like 150 200s and one little piece of um, oh, I don't know what that would be like minus 100 ish kind of stuff and uh, yeah considering what uh, what I uh, was able to get out of it um, that's not so bad and uh, really easy to pan out the uh, the tailings quickly and uh, and uh, get those four little pieces that escape so yeah that's pretty reasonable reason well I'm happy with that considering it's going to take uh, uh, hours out of my panning uh, regime here okay so that's what uh, that's what we got from her it's got a bad little stack of gold in there and uh, there's some bigger stuff but then there's also lots of fine material all loaded up in there Seems to work uh, quite nicely, so we'll uh, we'll keep trying uh, some different runs, and we'll see what uh, we'll see what we come up with here. But otherwise, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Other than it won't let the gold out of the mats <laughs> very easy, which is a uh, uh, not a bad problem to have. Anyway, that's uh, that's my opinion. It seems to work pretty good, and it holds onto the gold really well. And that's all the material that came out of the mat. So maybe couple of teaspoons maybe which is awesome because um, I really hate panning out my concentrate so this is nice stuff okay so I just got a chance to run uh, some of my concentrates from uh, my last trip and it looks, uh, looks pretty good in there this is stuff uh, that's very fine fine river gold um, there's nothing in here above 30 mesh it's all 30 minus down to, well, minus God knows what, minus 250, minus 200s. Um, there is a little bit uh, down at the bottom end here, but uh, the vast majority of the gold is sitting up top here, which is awesome. Um, but I have a sneaky suspicion we'll probably go through and uh, and run it all again here, and we'll see what my uh, we'll see what my losses are like. But yeah, not, not a bad little run here. Let's see if we can. Yeah, definitely, definitely in the top oh, 10 inches is probably 80 or 90 percent of, of the gold, and some of it's so fine, really dust um, that seems to have got caught up there, right up in the, in the top area as well. So, looking awesome. Okay, so this is what uh, what I've been fighting uh, over the last couple of years is, is these pans panning down my concentrates. Um, I mean this this is all just black sand and I would uh, 
I would have to pan that down. I do have a blue bowl, but I find that uh, um, it's just a little bit too slow. Or at the very least, I don't really care for it that much. Um, but uh, yeah, this is just all black sand. This is the tailings from the uh, from the last run there of uh, some Fraser River fine gold, and uh, it looks definitely pretty good as far as my recoveries are concerned. I mean, I haven't got it all panned down here. But yeah, just all black sand. But yeah, very, very little amount of gold, surprisingly, uh, in the tailings. I just did a little back and tap there, and uh, I saw about, again, four or five pieces. But that, and that was on the Virgin Run, so that was, uh, that was the first time through. And, uh, and we can see all the gold that's sitting in the little mini sluice box here. This is all Fraser River gold. Beautiful stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's done a really nice job. I mean, specifically right, right in there. See if it'll focus in on it. I mean, that is just fine, fine gold. I mean, that's, oh, a majority of that is like minus 150, 200. Just fine, fine gold. And it's just stripped bare. No black sand at all. Really, I, I like it.